Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're taking a look at a brand new 2024 Yukon 399 ML fifth wheel. This is a rear kitchen fifth wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside of this beautiful RV, show you what this thing's all about. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2024 Yukon 399 ML fifth wheel. Beautiful layout here. We're going to start back here in the rear of the RV and then we'll kind of work our way forward for you. So this is a rear kitchen unit. So across the back section back here, you have the large insignia oven, which does have the light in the oven the little lights above the knobs, four burner gas stovetop. You have four drawers on the left and some storage on the right as well. Now over here, you also have a pull out trash can area right here. Little magnetic catches. And even on the drawers, they do kind of pull themselves in to try and help keep themselves closed. You have the large residential refrigerator, freezer on bottom, refrigerator part on top. Big storage above that refrigerator right there. I'm just kind of looking up at our ceiling here. You can see one of our ducted ACs. These are currently using Dometic ACs. And you can also see that turbo exhaust fan up there as well. Just a lot of storage back here. You have the big high point microwave. Beautiful solid surface countertops here. That is kind of like that stone style material. You have large undermount sink on one side being bigger than the other side. High rise spring sprayer faucet. And I look down here, this is just huge. A lot of these, when you look under the sink areas, it's half boxed out with stuff. But this is a huge amount of storage here. You could probably build you some shelves or something in there. But overall, a really nice kitchen area here. Over on the slide out here, you have a large pantry. Does have a motion light in there that you can reach up and either turn off or on, uh, or you can put it in motion mode. Adjustable or, well, removable shelves. Now, just kind of taking a look at the floor here, you'll notice the slide floor matches the main subfloor. So no carpet in this section at all. You have traditional freestanding table and chairs. Huge window overlooking the awning slash door side area of the RV there. You have the little televator area, fireplace, stereo system all built in there. We'll show you that here in a second. You got some more storage up above. So you have theater seat area over here, and then you're gonna have your trifold sofa over here as well. So theater seat is a power theater seat, does have the little USB charger ports built into the arms as well. And again, trifold sofa here will flip out and make into a large bed so you could sleep some guests. Big windows on this side as well. And you can see here, they do use little blackout shades. Now 
Uh, just kind of sitting over here, looking across the area right there, we have, again, Furion 40-inch electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater. You have that RI, uh, RV technology radio there with the power up and down button for your televator. And if you're not watching TV and you don't want the TV up, you just hit a button. Just drops right on down out of the way. Just giving you more view of your campsite area right there. And those windows do open. And again, more storage up here. When you first walk in your door area here, you have a little closet. And this right here, great for brooms or vacuums or whatever, a little coat closet. And then there is a light up there as well. And you can see your entry exit door there does have a window in it. That window is Lippert Thin Shade ready. There's an aftermarket shade you could buy to use to go in there. Or some people like to get those foil covers for them as well. On the side over here, you have your electric box with the breakers and fuses. You have kind of a little area here. You could maybe turn into some sort of bar, maybe plug you in a little mixer up there or something, or maybe just make it a coffee bar, put your coffee pot there. You have one of your digital thermostats for your AC and furnace. You also have the on-demand water heater controls right here as well. Now just back in behind here is some of the brains of the RV. So here we have like our slide buttons, our awning buttons, some light switches, water pump. Uh, you can connect your phone to this through Bluetooth and basically kind of do some controls of the RV. Uh, battery condition, your water tank conditions as well. And over here you have 12 volt tank heaters on some of your holding tanks. Uh, if you do a generator, this one didn't get ordered with a generator, but it's gen prepped. So you could do uh, an aftermarket, say own and generator if you want to. This is your hour meter start stop button for that if you do that. Um, you also have some more light switches up here as well and some more storage up above. Over here, you have your ceiling fan controls, turbo exhaust fan controls, and another thermostat control for an AC. Now this is where it gets a little unique. Um, a lot of them do not have walk-through bathrooms. So here you have a very large split bath area right here. So on the side here on our left, we have a big step-in shower, glass enclosure. Little flip down, sit down seat area right there. Skylight up above. Have a skylight here in the hallway. Little vent fan here as well. So you got your sliding door here to block off this area for privacy. And then over here on this side, we have a closet or washer dryer area. Again, you have removable shelves, so you can take these out. You have your hot and cold drain or your hot and cold water lines and your drain right here, electric outlets here. So you could do a combo washer dryer, you could do a stackable washer dryer, whichever you prefer. If you don't prefer that, then you got hanging closet rod up here as well. Another motion light also. And you have a really nice sink area here. Multiple drawers and storage space, dual vanity area, dual medicine cabinet setup. And then kind of tucked away in its own little area over here, we have the toilet. So you have quite a bit of room in here to sit down and do your business. You have a window in here as well. You also have another vent fan as well. Motion light. There's also an AC duct in here. 
So when you do go to sit down to do your business, you're not having to worry about sitting down in an oven. I'm amazed at how many RVs don't have ACs in their bathrooms. Electric fireplace again up here. Nice large TV there as well. And some more storage up above and beside everything. Big window again, kind of overlooking the campsite area as well. You can see your third AC up here, more AC ducts in the roof. You have some light switches over on the wall and a control for that AC as well. Electric outlet down there. Now you'll notice that electric outlet down there has a little yellow lightning bolt sticker on it because it works off the inverter. Yeah, so if you got a nice set of batteries on here, you could maybe plug in a CPAP machine or something like that if you're boondock camping and use basically battery power to run something like that. Um, over here, there is kind of a little laundry chute thing that you can use. Some more storage. Let's step back here so you can see this a little better. There are nine dresser drawers there. And you have hanging closet as well. Plenty of room to maneuver around this bedroom. This bed will also raise up. And underneath of there, you can see two folding chairs for your dinette area. But you also have a lot of storage there as well. Window on each side of your bed there does open. And you also have dimmer switch for those lights above you there. But really love the new color changes. Um, the last one of these I had in had the old darker browns, um, which some people still love. I, I like them as well. But, you know, it is kind of nice to see the change up because they had the browns for a while. And now they're kind of going more toward the grays. Uh, which some brands have already been using for a while. So we'll see what happens next. But right now, beautiful new look for the Yukon. And we're going to head outside. I want to show you around the outside. And then I'm coming back in. I want to close this thing up for you. Show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right. We're back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Dutchman Yukon 399 ML here. We're going to start here on the door side and kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior with a lower black metal skirting and some vinyl decals. You have deep tent safety glass windows. The unit has two power awnings with LED light strips built in close to the body of the RV manual override in the front arm heads, and adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff. You have two outdoor speakers up high. There is solar prep on the side, so you could do a portable solar panel if you wanted to. It already has one on this particular one on the roof, you'll see here in a little bit. Um, that is a nice option that a lot of dealers do stock it with, but technically you don't have to get if you don't want. But here, that prepping is standard, so you could at least do a portable one. The unit has a six-point electric auto level jack system. So you have two jacks on the front, two just in front of the axles, and then two right behind the axles as well. You have the more ride pull-out tray here. This is rated for 800 pound capacity. It just slides back into place. Just makes it a little bit easier to get some of your items out of the RV. You have the 30 amp Go Power solar charge controller here if you do that solar panel feature. And then you also have the inverter over there as well. And there's an LED light strip over here as well. Behind this front door here is one of your two 30 pound propane tanks. There's gonna be another one on the other side you'll see when we get over there.
lots of storage in the uh, underbelly of this thing. Electric outlet here, cap lights, docking light switches, all right here. You can see the front door is held up by mag, uh, by shock assist. That way, it doesn't interfere with the awning arm. And in the back door is held up by magnetic holders. Electric outlet on the outside of the wall there. You have the heavy duty more ride entrance step here, which is going to flip up inside your entry door during travel. But that step is rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover step is only rated for 300 pounds. You have the large folding entry handle here to help you get in and out of the RV. You have the upgraded entry door handle slash lock. It does have the little touch pad on there, um, which operates the deadbolt position of it. Doesn't work the handle lock part. Uh, so if you do lock the handle lock, make sure you have the keys because you can lock the handle and close the door and lock yourself out. But if you're just going in and out using the touch pad, it's basically locking your deadbolt and you don't really need the keys. Obviously, you can see the window and the door there. It is a dual axle unit, aluminum wheels, drum brakes, easy loop hubs. Uh, also has the nicer More Ride CRE 3000 center point suspension there, which kind of acts like shock absorbers for RVs. Step back here so you can kind of see down the whole side of the RV here a little better. Now this one was also ordered with these slide out awning covers. Those cover the tops of the slide room. They roll in and out with the slide, um, so you don't really have to do much of anything. But it basically helps shade the room, repels a lot of water, leaves twigs, debris, and stuff. So you don't have to worry about getting up there and really cleaning off the debris that might fall from trees or whatever at the campsite onto your slide out. Ladder comes down nice and low, easy to climb up on. These RV ladders are rated for 250 pounds. You can get up onto your roof, walk around, inspect your seams and seals and check things out. Now popping up the picture of the roof, you can see up there, again, three ACs up there. There is uh, you know, plumbing stack vents, skylights, TV antennas. Uh, you could see the solar panel up there that was ordered on this one as well. Uh, you know, just a lot of little things up there. You do got to get up there from time to time, do your due, dil uh, due diligence, and make sure you keep up with that stuff. Flat back rear end. It does have a camera up there on the back that would allow you to basically download an app and use your phone as a way to see what's going on behind you when you're backing into a campsite or driving down the road. The unit also has a hitch down here. This hitch is rated for a 300 pound tongue weight with a 3,000 pound pull capacity and it also has a four-way flat already wired up right here. That is a really nice feature that most fifth wheels do not offer. Most will put a hitch on the back but it's just for a luggage rack or bike rack. Um, the Yukon is a wide body built on the voltage toy hauler frame basically. So it is a heavier duty frame uh, set up and stance for a fifth wheel than a lot of traditional eight foot wide fifth wheels. Back here you have basically some little storage compartments here. These are metal boxed out compartments. So you can maybe throw some dirty tools or some of your you know, kind of crappier stuff back here out of the way that might get the inside of the RV dirty. Down below here, you can see in the picture popping up one of your dump areas back here, one of your dump handles, but you can also see under there that enclosed underbelly. Now you're going to have two fresh water tank dumps, one just in front of the rear axle and another just in front of the front axle. This thing has nice, large, fresh water tank capacity. I'll put all that down in the description for you. But it actually has two separate dumps for that. You can also see in the picture popping up here the hot and cold low point water drains and some more dump handles down below. Now let's step back here again. Just kind of show you what this thing looks down this whole side. Really nice, clean look to the RV. 
Now just in front of your slide, you're gonna have your on-demand water heater, your furnace exhausting out right here, and your detachable 50 amp electric power cord. You have your docking station area right here. This gives you basically the ability to feed your lines up through the bottom here and close your door. So you got your winterization valve, black tank flush, city water inlet, hot and cold outside utility shower, black and gray handles here, uh, winterization bypass, gravity fill fresh water, electric outlet, and cable satellite inlets, and a motion light in here as well. It's basically the other side of your storage compartment area, kind of the same thing here, held up by magnets. Uh, magnets. And then you also have shock assist over here so it doesn't interfere with the slide. Jack controls right here. This gets you on and off the truck. Also auto levels your RV. Instructions here as well. Over here, we're gonna have the other 30 pound propane tank with the auto changeover regulator up there as well. Now here are some really important informational stickers here just to kind of give you some rundown here. This is what they call the production date sticker. It has your production date on it, VIN number on it. Uh, but most importantly here, we got two weight informations on this. Gross vehicle weight, 16,800 pounds. That's 16,800 pounds, hitch weight, axle weight, everything combined do not exceed that number. You have a dry weight of 13,740 pounds. That's basically what they say the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. And then you have your tire size, ST23580R16G range tires with 110 PSI. Very important to keep up with your cold PSI rating and make sure that the tires are inflated properly. Tires on RVs or really on anything can only hold a certain amount of weight at a certain pressure. If you let that pressure drop too low, it's easier for that tire to blow out. On the front side, you got a really nice rounded out, kind of bubbled front end, just trying to make it a little more aerodynamic. Does help a little bit with the turning radius on part of the RV as well. Uh, this back section is kind of notched out a little bit. It doesn't quite stick out as far as the hitch itself does. So it just kind of makes it a little bit easier for your shorter bed trucks. You do have the upgraded Kurt Rotoflex pin box here. Battery compartment over here, battery disconnects over here, spare tires mounted up here out of the way. So it's out of the weather, out of sight, out of mind, less likely to get stolen as it's kind of hidden in here. And you also have three LED light strips there to kind of brighten up this area if you're trying to hook up at night or you know just kind of coming back from town or whatever and you might have those on and just kind of see your RV when you're driving up, kind of looking cool. All right, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you what this thing looks like closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we're back up inside the brand new 2024 Yukon 399 ML here. And we're gonna close her up. I've kind of cheated a little bit. Went ahead and closed up a couple of the slides just to speed this part up for you. So as you can see, we closed up the big slide already. It comes in real close to your theater seat and your counter area there. So you're not really getting past that unless you're either crawling under or climbing over, or if you were to unmount the table from the floor and come up with another way to maneuver it around, you could just spin it sideways, allowing you to walk back there. So that might be something that I think even the factory should consider making some sort of way of flipping that around. And I did forget to mention earlier, it does raise up by the way, um, but they could make that flip around and maybe fasten it to the wall during travel, allowing the customer to get back there to the sink and stove area a little bit easier. But you are still not really getting to the refrigerator as that part is basically blocked by the slide. Going up, we closed up the bedroom already. As you can see, walking in the entry door, coming up your hallway area through your bathroom, you have zero limitations on that part. Uh, you could still come up here, sleep on the bed, 
You could get into your drawers, your closet and everything there. The only thing you're not really getting to is that little bitty cabinet down there. Other than that, you have pretty much full use of your bedroom with it closed up. Now let's close up the other one here just so you can see how this looks closing. It's pretty quick and easy. It is a 12 volt powered slide out. So as long as you got a good charged up battery, this thing should come in nice and easy. I did forget to mention earlier, look how tall the slide outs are in this thing. Really nice height here. So you don't have to worry about standing up out of your sofa and hitting your head. So still plenty of room to maneuver back through here. And again, spinning that table out of the way would be a nice feature to get you to the back. All right, let's step outside real quick. Just show you what it looks like closed up on the outside. Thanks again, guys, for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. Please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. They will definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if that's what you're looking to do. Thanks again.